This is Danny Valencia. I'm about 25 kilometers northwest of Sagada, in isolated mountains. Work crews here have made an incredible discovery, part of the story I want to tell. Here, seven years ago, the Espina family disappeared. The crime was never solved. This is Andy Cuevas, the construction manager. Andy, can you please tell us what you found? Well, one of my men dug up an old bag of digitape. Could it have been planted there? In my opinion, no. It was buried deep beneath the foundation. Rocks above were not disturbed. Could this be evidence of the possible murders here that the police overlooked? Yes. I think the police would not dig deeper. I'm sure of it. Thank you. We will examine the videotape as soon as we can. And when we do that, we're going to... It appears that more evidence has been uncovered. Okay, you can cut for now. everything okay I hope so there's not much more is gonna fit into this trunk Chelsea yeah keep the camera steady oh, okay okay no here let me adjust it oh sister will you relax I know how to use a camera okay you sure yes I can handle it Just okay. trust me adjust you yeah <laughs> Ken you look nervous take it easy well, you know we've only known each other for like 10 months, so don't you think your family might find this kind of repulsive? You'll be okay. Look at this. This is so beautiful. You know I'll always wear Look what I got. Oh, God. Mm, yes. <laughs> your school ring. That cheap school hey, ring. Hey, don't say that. I love this ring. It reminds me of you. And I love you, Susan. I love you, too. Mm. Do we really have to wait until after you graduate? Hey, linguistics is a top degree. You know I want to teach. Yeah. And you know you already know like five languages. No. <sighs> You're still nervous. Mixed marriages, families can split people up. And then Michelle, she was like a mother to the two of you and, you know. Yeah. You know, after our folks died, Michelle really did take care of us. David's mom and dad were the only parents that we knew. And David's her husband, right? Mm-hmm. What are you really trying to ask? Hmm? Is Michelle gonna like me? Sure. You know she will. Just a friendly warning, though. You know, our real dad was Filipino, but Michelle takes a lot after her mom. Like, loves everything French. Why? Because my mom was a true traditional French Vietnamese. You know, she's educated in Paris, and. I don't know, like, maybe Michelle speaks French a lot. Way more than Chelsea and I. Especially when she's upset. Oh. Well, see, I don't speak French, so me making her mad, that's not an option. Yeah. So, Britt, can we, like, can we get going? Please? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know what? But before we go, I want to film a little bit. So, let me take over. <laughs> now, you can get into the car. It's running, right? 
I got it. I got ooh. Look at how pretty somebody looks from head to toe. You know, I gotta tell you, you did a wonderful job with Chelsea. She's, She's such a sweetheart, right? You know, I gave up a lot, but I do it all over again without one thought. I think we're almost there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, we got to be close. We're here. We're here. Are you excited? I am. I okay. You ready? Here we Are go. Are you ready? Are am I ready? <laughs> wow. Isn't that close, isn't it? Yeah. You know, they must make a lot of money to afford something like this. Jealous, are we? Of course. But I'm optimistic as well. You wow. know, they even have two kitchens. Two. two. Well, if my baby wants three kitchens, she'll have three. They're here. Hey, hey Susan. <laughs> nice to see you. Glad you can make oh. it. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, David. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you guys? Good How's to the see trip? you. This is Ken, my boyfriend. Hey. Hey. Welcome, welcome. I'm Thank David you. Espino, and welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So, you two. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Yeah. You know you're about to marry the best girl in the Philippines. I know that. Well, except for my wife Michelle, of course. <laughs> well, you better say that. Well, come on in. Come on in. Welcome. Come on. Come on. Uh, why don't you bring in your car? Oh yes. Let me do that. How are you doing? I'm good. And how have you been? It's been a long time. <laughs> Just yet, yeah, not old enough to be that. Add the Susan for now, okay? Are you Auntie uh, Auntie Susan's new boyfriend? A new? Um. I mean, yeah, he is, but maybe not so new. She's your bitch now. Hey, 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 hey. Watch your language. Uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right. Watch your language. Uh, My goodness. You know, TV. Too much uh, TV for kids. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, this is Ken Tyler. My fiance. We're oh. getting married in December. You're December? Awesome. Oh, wow. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How's it going, Ken? Yeah. I'm Alan Espino. Oh, very nice to meet you, sir. David's father. This is my wife, Reina. Yeah. Oh, very nice to yeah, meet nice you. Yeah, nice to meet you. David and I are both from the U.S. too. Born in San Francisco. Ah, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You better take real good care of this girl. Oh, you know she I will. She deserves only the best. <laughs> I know. You know, you make a wonderful oh, couple. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> a nice gift. <laughs> Joy to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> we miss everybody. Yeah, we miss so all of you. Yeah, I'm yeah, excited. Come on. Right. Everyone to we, we can't we can't have Christmas yeah. without family, right? Oh, oh, what, what the hell is that? It fell right from the sky. Come on, come on. Jason, it's just a dead bird. No need to look. Oh, that must have died. Suddenly, I, there's, there's no. What? <laughs> Maybe they had a heart attack or a stroke or something. Oh, look healthy to me. Oh, so you're an expert on birds now, yeah, huh? Yeah, that's right. Well, anyways, I mean, I'm glad my reach is okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll clean it up later. Can we just all get in, go inside yeah, yeah, yeah. and come on, dinner? Come on, come on. That is the best idea I've heard in the last five minutes. Come on, Jesse. Hey there. Merry Christmas, Aunt Carol. How you been? I'm fine. I'm fine. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Again. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas. 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 Merry Christmas
Hey, how you doing? Guys, this is Ken, my fiance. We're getting married in December. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, congratulations. Yes. Welcome to our family, thank Ken. Thank you, thank you. By the way, Ken, he's my wife, Carol. Hi, Carol. Nice to meet you. Ricky. Ricky. Yeah. Hey, and Carol, so you are second to the youngest. You're older than Stephen, right? Older than Stephen and older than Jeffrey, actually. Oh, oh I messed up already and we just got here. That's your last to family, family, that's why. Yeah. Sorry, guys, can I thank him for you? <laughs> okay. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, okay, guys. Oh, <laughs> Jeffrey. Hey. Hey, Susan. Hey. I want you to meet Ken. Actually, Jeffrey is Stephen and David's brother. Ah. Ken. Ken. Welcome to the Cigar Air States, Ken. Drink? Ah, uh, no, thank you. Ken. Ken. Do you like hunting? Hunting? Uh, yeah, I like hunting. Great! We have great game around here. You know what? Especially those big bucks. Ah, uh, Michael. Hey. What's up, Michael? Nice to meet you, Michael. Hey, hey, hey. If you guys are gonna play tag, please do it by the pool. Right, but be careful. Come on, come on. Come on, Jeffrey. All right, Dad. And don't forget to bring the cats with you. Jeffrey, right? right. All right. Not to forget. I'm the son. It's unemployed. Oh my god, anything else personally you want to share? Like your sex life, surgical stars maybe? Go so on. what's the story with your, uh, your boys here? Oh, uh, used to be married once in a long time ago, but yeah, now just what kind of failing? Yeah. Singapore, San Francisco, yeah. oh, there's Justin. Uh, and don't forget my wife, uh, Ajira. Uh, <laughs> She's in the kitchen with, with Michelle. You'll meet them at dinner. Oh, oh the great, kitchen. great. Yeah, you know, I, you know them. Busy as always. <laughs> Say, Chelsea. Yeah. Do you mind if uh, Justin brought your camera? He likes um, shooting videos, and I forgot to bring his. Oh, he's a bit. Yeah. He's sulking. Sure, sure. Um, let him. Um, all right. I'm sure Justin can do a great job making movies. Right? Oh, sure. Okay. Go ahead. Here. Here you go. go you got it. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I'll just thank, the kitchen. thank you. Thank you. Hey, okay. Thanks for asking. Uh, you got a new doctor. Indeed. And they do. That's good. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Okay, man. Yeah. Please. Okay, man. Okay, I'll see you. Just just um, in a bit of a mood. Be careful. Yeah, I know. I can imagine. Well, I'll bring you to the kitchen. Honey? Yeah? You're on your own? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you later in the kitchen. My father was a cop and there was a security firm, Manila, and they hired him as a high-tech consultant, so hey. I've been here. Yeah. And uh, this is your first time back? Uh, no, a few times. Um, I went back to the States to go to school at Stanford, and then um, a small trip to San Jose where I lived uh -huh. for a while. Yeah. And I went back to university mm -hmm. and got a degree in computer science, so I'm a software engineer. Wow. You know what that is, Ken? What? That is very impressive. The family is going to love you so much. Well, I'm hoping so. Yeah. yeah and my wife's going to love you too. I mean, she's been talking about meeting you all day. And her name, one more time. Uh, Ajira. Ajira. Gotcha. It's been Ajira. It's three years now, and uh, would you believe that she's pregnant? And she's Indian. Congratulations. Thanks. I mean, <laughs> I mean about the, the, the oh, baby no, I, part. I know. Okay. I know. Thanks. Don't Thanks. get me wrong. Indians are great people. In fact, some of my best friends, they're Indians. Mm. Really? Right. Well, uh, nice meeting you, Jeffrey. You want to go check out and see who's winning? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, take it easy. Oh my God, Susan! Hi. Hi. Susan again. Oh, you already saw her, Mama. Hey, you. Oh, dinner's not yet ready. Oh, She's staying in the living room. I'm sorry, I'm so busy. My car. So when's the big day? Mama. December. After I graduate. Waiting a while. Oh, yes. you're graduating. No, she's getting married, Mama.
sang, vous pensez que c'est pour moi. Vous avez même oublié de me rendre visite et de me faire promettre. I have a hug too. Ah, finally the bread. How are you? I'll talk more later on and you tell me all about your man then. Okay, I promise I'll tell you. Thanks. Thanks for bringing Chelsea, by the way. I'm glad she's here. She's so big, huh? Yeah, of course. Of course I'll bring her. It's Christmas. You have cats now? Uh-huh. Since last spring, a mother and three of its babies. Where is it? Big ones. Or black. Okay. What's wrong with her? It's going to be in French. She looks like it. Maybe it has something to do with her new religion. Do you want to take it? I'll tell you like that. She's a bitch. She's a bitch. I don't know why she would take it out of me like that. I don't get it. She's just... He's almost ready. Yeah. You know, he's not ready. Yeah. 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 Justin, you want some? Yeah, okay. Justin, you want some of this? Ken. Anybody else want some? Here you go. Oh, the family, huh? Wow. Yeah. You just had the Espino Christmas special four-course dinner. Once again, you have done yourself, Michelle. The salad dressing was superb. Merci, my love. That was my own special recipe. And of course, uh, bon appétit. <laughs> Applause for the ladies. Mm. And, then, and now it's my turn. After all, it's Christmas, so I sent the servants home early. So ladies, give them a hand for doing the dishes. <laughs> Can you be Maybe we have guests. Uh, it's all right. Uh, you can play downstairs. Okay, hmm. thanks, Dad. Michael. Why don't you? Yes. Michael. Michael. You know, Ken, you know your playroom downstairs? It is bigger than my apartment. Huge. So what's the weather like around here? People come here to avoid the lowland heat. Yeah, it's been yeah. so hot and dry in Manila. I think it's global warming. You're right. This has got to be the hottest year since we moved up here. Mm-hmm. It's cold season, but still hot as hell. Bad for business. <laughs> Our coffee shop is great. We don't just survive, we thrive. <laughs> With all the others closed, you're lucky, that's all. Uh, yeah, we run an Indian New Age bistro in the valley. Mm. I mean, in town. Is that close to here? It's a resort village. We run an outdoor equipment shop and live behind it. Yeah, not too far as the crow flies. Oh, God, these guys don't mention blackbirds. Yeah, I did hear about what happened to you earlier, and that is such a strange thing. I know, right? What happened? Bizarre behavior, you know, even for stupid birds. <laughs> you know, Ken, from the day I moved with Alan to America, I always thought of coming back to the Philippines. And now we're here, thank God. And so yeah. with my family. Yeah. I feel truly really blessed. Oh, cheers to that. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers to family. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh. David. Oh, oh, 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 oh. I think that's pretty unanimous, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see lights now. Hey, well done, David. Sorry, sorry, guys, sorry, guys. No decent flashlights, but we do have a lot of candles here as we're around. It's pretty old school. It's crazy. Yeah, please. Thank you very much. Well, the phone is out. Even tried our mobiles, even Gary's. Nothing. How about your phones? 
Yeah, mine's dead too. Same yeah. here. Yeah. Zippo, stupid company. Oh man, this totally sucks. They could damn flashlight like batteries. This is such a bitch. All right, all right, everybody, just calm down. David, what can we do? I don't know about David, but I'm driving to town. I'll find out what the hell's going on. Okay. Okay, buy, buy more gin, yeah? Okay. What could drop all over cell phones? Maybe there was a cave. Mommy, I'm Guys, my car won't start. What? What? Great. What's happening? What about the radio? Sorry. Mother's dead. Here, okay, give me your keys. I'm gonna go try our cars. Let's try all of them. Hey, what's going on, Justin? Come on. Doesn't look like we're going anywhere too soon. Oh, Jesus, you Sorry. scared the shit out of me. Sorry. Mine's dead too. Yeah, same here. See, no one's having any luck. Notice something else strange? What? Yeah. The weather. It's super hot and muggy out here. Like me think. This fog is weird. It's everywhere. The sky's dark suddenly. Just clouds. It's hot. Alright. I'm going for a walk. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm sure wait till dawn. Well, it's not a long walk. Uh, just five clicks away from here is Edward Vasco's house. Yeah, but David, what if things are just the same at Ed's? Can we walk to town together? All right. Are you sure, David? Hey, I'm Dad, sure. look. I hike all the time. Why don't you just look after the women and the kids? Thanks for coming with me. I just had to get out of that house. Yeah, with everybody so scared and nervous. And this heat? I know, and it's even worse than Manila. So, tell me more about Manila. What do you want to know? Are all the girls there as beautiful and sexy as you are? <laughs> you wouldn't even talk to me last Christmas. You've changed. For the better. I'm glad you like me now. Justin, why'd you follow us here? No problem. He doesn't talk anyway. But knowing that he's here... I'll erase this from the videotape when we get back, okay? Justin. You won't squeal on us, right, Spart? You're cool. Uh, what was I saying? That I've changed. Yeah, you're bigger for sure. In all the right. Wanna have some fun? Sure, why not? Come over here. <laughs> Careful though. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. So, what am I supposed to do? Close your eyes. What? Just close your eyes. Fine. Can I, can I see? Not yet. So this second. is your idea of fun. You're too excited. Huh? Just chill out, okay? What? This is what you call fun? Hey! Don't you like me? You said have fun, Mr. Speedo, not go all the way. So you're a virgin. Are you? <laughs> no way. I'll show you. <laughs> You're a dirty girl, Justin. <laughs> Who was that? Justin. Is that you? Well, nobody else from the house. Did anyone come up here? No, oh, so far from anyone else. 
fuck. Stay here. Wait a minute, okay? Stay here. Wait, no, Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky? Ricky? Wait, I mean, maybe something's on that video. No? I can... No, it was too dark. No way. Well, he shouldn't have gone far without his clothes and... Look, his sleepers are still there. Chelsea. Mia, I'm sure he's safe. I yeah. hope so. <sighs> I'm sure okay, he'll find Gabby. Ricky! Justin, remember to stay close. Ricky! Ricky! What the hell Ricky. is this over here? This wasn't here before. I say find my son down. And your husband too, Michelle. Oh, Gabby, look. I'm as upset as you are, okay? But I think we should just stay here, right? Please, Gary, don't go. We don't know what's out there. Jira, how's Chelsea and the kids? They've calmed down. Chelsea's reading bedtime stories. Good. Listen, I agree with my son. We must warn David. And find Ricky. In danger. No, but you're going to? Why? Reina, I must go. David is our eldest son. But hold on, Dad. I can, you don't know what's out there. Exactly. I know. You know, if they're lost or worse, the same could happen to you both. Remember, I was in the military. I can take care of myself. Michelle, we'll need a rifle. David has a couple of um, pistols, handguns. Dad and I just need one gun. Please. But. Please. Gary, it's. Please. I need you here with me. I love Ricky as much as you do, but you don't understand. If I lose both of you, I will be alone. Please. It works fine. Looks like David kept it in good shape. Pops, please be careful. Without you, my loneliness will be like a cold rock lying in bed beside me for all of my nights. Don't worry, we're gonna be alright. We have to do this. Always been here to show, and I've just accepted what you wanted with this. Remember, you are not a hero, okay? You're just an ordinary husband and father. So don't take any chances, please. Okay, people, listen up. Keep your weapons ready. Okay. I'll be fine. <laughs> 
Let's go. Carol. Carol. We'll be back soon. We'll be back. Don't worry. Don't worry. I hope you the promise. Okay. Hey, Justin, get in the house. Hurry up. Electrical thing, okay? Come here. It's nothing. Excuse me. Don't scare my son. Can we do it? Oh my god, I don't believe it. Hey, what is it? What? They turned off the camera, but it's still operating. What? Whoever or whatever was controlling the TV is somehow controlling the camera. But don't ask me how. Honey, honey, that's all right, okay? You didn't do anything it's wrong. Okay, Justin. But who's doing this and why? I don't know. Good night. Be quiet so we can relax. Okay. Okay? Can you please leave one lantern here? Of course. Whatever you want. Thank you. Sleep well. Trophies are good for something. This room and I'll watch the children myself. Yeah, give Chelsea a break from babysitting. Mm. You know what I hate about standing guard? It's a goddamn fog. You know, I could get raped and I won't see it coming. Okay. Us ladies will take turns watching the children one at a time. And you men take turns guarding the house. What about that, huh? You get the hint. Let me finish my coffee first and then I'll go outside. Okay, Madam Commandante. Could you relieve Stephen in front, please? And we can watch back here. And uh, <coughs> you, excuse me, Ken. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to use one of those? It used to be a cop. I know how to use it. Oh, Mr. Macho. Go on then, get outside. You want me to? Mom? 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 Here. Here. Oh, you okay? Mom? Mom? I'll be all right. Give her room to breathe. Look, I don't like her calls. Are you sure? I think she needs to rest. Can we give you anything? Maybe yeah. some water. Oh, I'll get, get some water. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't be. That's bad. Here, here. No, 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 no. no, no. It's been so difficult. You don't need to apologize. Maybe you just need to lie down on the couch or something. Yeah, Mom. Get some rest. You feel much better. Okay? Come on, Mom. You need help carrying her? I'll help. I'll help. Okay, you're good. Susan? Susan? Okay. 
careful. You need to walk them? Um, I'll get it. Up. Hey, 
Hey, Justin. Come here and join us. We want to know what's going on. Uh, well, nobody knows yet. Like we said, it's sleepy time now. Yes, okay, so come on, go back to sleep. What's that? What's that? Maybe somebody coming upstairs. Where's Auntie Carl? And Mommy? Uh, they're in bed asleep. Um, I I'll go check on it. All of you stay yeah. here. I'm not staying behind. I want to go too. I'm scared to stay here. Okay. Uh, oh, we can go all together. We can hold hands. Maybe someone just woke up. Come here. It's bedtime now. right now. This is serious. same thing, that she was fast asleep and when she woke up, Ajira and the others were gone. Oh, God, God. Come on, oh, shaking. We'll find them, okay? It's not only that. What? What? 
But it's Michelle. I mean, she's bitching at me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, stay together, protect the family, move in. You Here. get the same sermons too? I'm, I'm around her a lot more than you are, remember? But I don't get it. it it's like she's changed. She's, she's a completely different person. Yeah, she wants to dictate our lives. I mean, this new religion of hers, it, it's kind of like a cult. Kind of. And, and it, has, it has to do with the house. I, I mean, it, it has to do with, with this piece of land, whatever it is. Stephen! Is Agira there? No! She's not here. Just stay where you are. I'll come to you, all right? Okay? We can talk about it. Okay, we'll, we'll talk. Yeah, yeah. You promise? Of course. You know I don't break promises. Besides, you're my only brother. And you're my favorite sister. But I never said that. Remember? I <laughs> swear. Right. Your secret's safe for me. Uh, Susan? Susan? I want you to trust me, okay? Like, no matter what happens. Sure. You, you have to trust me. Susan, could you get a blanket and a pad? Yeah. It's in the closet, yeah. yeah. In the closet? Merci.
Sign of my wife or the others? I found a lantern in the storeroom upstairs, but other than that, nothing else. Give me that gun. Why? Because it's my turn to stand watch. Will you be all right? I'm good. Listen, I can take over for you if you want. No. No, you please just take care of Carol and you take care of Susan. All right, we'll try to get some sleep. Just listen for the old regulator, huh? When old faithful strikes twice. We, 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 we. God for one reliable clock. I'll get some sleep. And what about the others? <sighs> my kids. And my wife, will you keep looking? Stephen, you know we looked through this whole house for him. We'll keep looking. Wait, Stephen. If you see anybody out there, please let us know. Yeah. And we'll call if we see any of the others here. Okay. Good. You gotta be careful with that gun because they could be lost out in those woods. Don't worry, I, I won't shoot unless I have to. Just take care of the others, okay? Yeah, you can count on me. Chelsea for about an hour. Practically had to pull you off her. Can I swear? I still feel like she's here with us. Wow. 
Where are the others? Well, Michelle was exhausted. She she crashed on the couch behind us. And Stephen? He's still watching outside over the house. He and I switched off all night. the rest. That's what Raina thought as well. But I don't know. My brain feels like soft taffy. It's just been stretched way too far. No, but seriously, I mean, how do you explain Carol Chelsea? Just tell me. How do you explain them? And the TV people? Susan, so, I mean, those Susan, disappearances? Susan, I don't, don't more Susan, I don't know. I ran out of any kind of good guesses sometime around midnight. Settle down. I'm telling you. I think there's somebody here. There's somebody else here. What time is it? The sun should be up by now. Let's take a bit for
How did somebody do something like that? Stay with Justin. Justin, go! Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Jesus. some answers and help us get out of here alive. What do you know about it, Stephen? Talk! You found it. Nakitamo, you found it. The one under the stairs. I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. Anybody else want one? No? Okay. You guys need to talk this out. Be rational about things. She... She made plans behind my back. I, I didn't know until... The earthquake? The fog? 
Yeah, by then it was too late. You know, she told me nothing. While you guys were working, I read through this book. And some things did start to begin making sense. They did. Did they? Sense. Start to make sense. Realize if this ever made sense. When Michelle first started talking to me about black magic, I laughed. It was a year ago. The storm had washed out the main bridge, so I had to stay here overnight. It was just me and Michelle. She woke me at dawn. You know what she asked me? She asked me if I would like to see her cast a magic spell. Just out of blue, just like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 like, like it was nothing. She she needed to get rid of the blackbirds in the cornfield. One by one, she uncorked these funny little bottles and scattered what was inside. And I remember, I remember because it smelled so awful, like, like things that had died. And she, when she was done scattering, she took up this long stick and she held it up. Four times, facing all four directions. She lifted it over her head, gave a great cry, and cracked it. She threw it down, threw her arms back towards the sky, and yelled, Voila! And within seconds, day became night. It got dark again. And suddenly, it was raining dead black birds. On us, the house, the cars, the cornfield, everywhere were dead black birds. She wasn't done. Oh no. She gave one more great wave of her arms, and a huge wind came up and blew all the black birds away like that. So satisfied, she looked ecstatic, as if this was some wonderful, glorious thing that she'd done. It made me cold, it, it scared me to my bones. That look on her face, I'll never forget. This boulanger girl, she, she married a defrocked priest named André Devereux. Um, and they thought it would be a neat idea to start a cult and become its leaders. Oh yeah, and then she just writes all about her religion in this little book, is that right? Huh? Uh, but is no, it not, from... not exactly. This doesn't make sense. Is it from here? Hmm? Like, I don't understand. Um, well, here is, a, that's a funny question, here. Yes, here, here, actually, right on this piece of land, remember? This, this land? This, this piece of land, they had a temple here, on what the locals used to call, remember, Buro ng Demonio. Buro ng Demonio, the Hill of Demons. You remember? Oh, oh this is great, Hill of Demons. I remember now. She taught David into buying this lot because she felt drawn to this place somehow. Okay, look, you got a cult in France, right? Well, what the hell are they doing in the Philippines? Well, they got run out of France. Human sacrifice. And they traveled the world. And then they settled in Vietnam, but they made their final stop here. So this cult is still around? No, uh, no, no. Actually, Christmas 1914, the temple they erected here and the shanty town surrounding it, it all just disappears. Temple burns down. Cult is gone. Christmas yesterday. Christmas. Christmas. Originally a pagan holiday celebrating winter solstice. So uh, there was something important about our family dinner, right? <laughs>
uh, uh, the chicken has steak in it, and the whole thing was doused in a magic potion. <laughs> Michelle confided so much in you, and not even to me. Why is that? We slept together. What? It was that same day she showed me the magic spell. And about Ajira? How about them? Ajira, David? Have you even thought about them? How did that even happen? She hid it from them. That's what Michelle did. She could hide anything. ago, everything just went bad. What do you mean, bad? I mean, like, our coffee shop was folding bad, so I prayed for more business. Michelle overheard me, and she said that she could help. And the next morning, Ajira told me that every other coffee shop owner in town was dead. Michelle thought she was in control, and they destroyed her. Her plans went wrong. Then she saw David, and then she killed herself and left us on our own. Ensemble pour toujours. Together always. It's on the cover. And every single page by the pictures. Yeah, I know. So what the hell does it mean? I don't know. Michelle, she held a goddamn seance. And those, those fucking Devereaux, they, they told her. They told her, but she didn't tell me anything. You know what? I've had enough of this! And what's not in that book died with Michelle. So without her, we are screwed! Did you see that? Oh my god, what the hell is that?
storeroom. What was it? It was Jeffrey, Ken. All right, you win. You seem to be the expert on all this black magic, so why don't you explain to us all this weird shit? All this weird shit? All this weird shit is a part of their cult rituals. Not a complicated shit, really. It is. And I couldn't read everything in this book. All I know for sure is that the snake potion marks all who eat it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Snake potion is necessary for anyone who wants to join the other cult members and ascend into their version of heaven. Yeah. Did you notice this isn't really exactly heaven, Stephen? No shit, Ken. It's because the book says that you have to do all rituals first. The four ascension rites of Bethlehem. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Michelle said something about having cast enough spells that we were exempt from those rites. Spells can be broken. So we can fight it. Yeah, we just have to find it and know what to do. Well, if there's a way, it's got to be in that book. You can't fight them. Michelle couldn't fight them. Listen, Michelle was in too deep. All right, we got to try. There's got to be a way. There has to be. And Jira and Chelsea, they were sacrificed. Part of the rites. Okay. What about... What about all this weird mutation stuff? The people and the animals and all that? Here, right three, the unnatural transmutation of flesh. The next and last is the fourth right, the right of the bride. A chosen couple will wed and have intercourse before all. Afterward, the bride must Castry, her groom. Castry. Oh, fuck me. This is too much. So they deceived Michelle. Used her to open a portal into their world. And leave us in limbo. No. Michelle called it the abyss. You heard her. Before she died, the darkness no. between worlds. No. No. There must be a way. There must be a way. There must be a way. There must be a way to end this. We have to find it here. Oh my god. What? I think I found it. To break these spells, a marked one must summon a soul from those of special sacrifice and four times request, let us go. That's it. We're all marked, right? Yeah. I will keep reading that. Hypothetically speaking, what we would have to do is conduct a seance ourselves and summon one of... One of what? We need to summon specific combatment in the rites. The effeminate boy, the virgin, or the bright woman. Michael, Chelsea, or Jira. No. No. No, not my wife.
come here now. Please appear before us. Do we all agree on this? I know that I should be the strong one, but I'm the man. No, I'm being selfish. 
I'll put it first. Living without you would be worse than dying. No matter what happens tonight, I want you to know that I love you. See, our love is the one thing that we can talk to. What we have right now together will never die. It will never fail us. It will never leave us alone. Sorry, honey. I'm gonna put this away. The camera 
camera's still working. The TV. The div who wanted them to stay on. Even when the power was off. They're leaving a record. To try to convert others' leader. Sorry, honey. I really am. I didn't mean to scare you, okay? Come here, sit with me. Yes, it doesn't matter now. Just hug me, okay? Come here. Mister,